much for free nowadays. Uh, right. 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 Ain't much for free nowadays. Uh, right. 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 Ain't much for free nowadays. For free now. What's going on YouTube? What's going on people? Been about two weeks since my last video. Took some home time and uh, been back on the road for roughly a week now. I ain't really had too much to talk about. But uh, this is an interesting situation right now. I'm in Quincy, Illinois. I'm getting ready to go pick up this load from the Midwest Control Storage. This is a craft load and this... Uh, is a unique situation because the docks are underground in these caves which I've seen videos other drivers have posted going into the caves to pick up a load and uh, some of y'all probably have as well but this will be my first time doing it so I'm gonna take y'all down there with me so uh, hold fast matter of fact it's it's time to roll it's appointment time Alright, so we just rolled out from the staging area. Coming up on the entrance. Entrance. To the infamous cave site. So one of the uh one of the many. So there's more than one. So uh I'm bang this right. I don't know where I'm going. I've never been here before, so uh Let's hope everything goes over smooth. Lady told me to come on in.
Alright, so you see we are in the caves. Got myself docked. down here all right back at y'all so as y'all can see or as y'all saw I'm um, in the caves Quincy Illinois um, I'm docked they're loading me shouldn't be too much longer um, this is a quick run it's going like 200 and 80 miles up to uh, Aurora, Illinois. That's a drop and hook up there, so gonna go ahead and get this knocked out. Um, interesting though, you know, it'd be an understatement to say this is uh, unique and, and, you know, something different, but um, it is a nice change of scenery, change of pace, if you will. Uh, my first time down here in the caves, as I uh, mentioned earlier, been kind of just sitting here looking around in awe to a degree because I don't know who thought about this, you know, but um, you know, hats off to them. Definitely interesting to see there's a warehouse and office underground in, in some caves. So, uh, hey, it is what it is, but it's definitely been quite the experience for me. Like I said earlier, I saw it before in other people's videos, other drivers uploaded videos of them going into the cave. So I've, I've seen it before on on uh, YouTube, but my first time going in. So I figured I'd go ahead and record it and, uh, you know, share that with y'all and keep it for my own uh, personal memorabilia. Um, you see a lot of things, a lot of interesting and unique things out here on the road. Uh, a lot of tunnels cutting through mountains and uh, a lot of bridges really long ridiculously long bridges over water uh, the combination of two such as the chesapeake uh, bay bridge and tunnel which has two tunnels going underneath the water the purpose for that is if you don't know so that the ships and vessels can continue without obstruction so uh you know not gonna build a drawbridge out there in the middle of water it's amazing enough that they built a bridge and two tunnels. But um, those two tunnels and bridge stretch at least 20 miles. And, you know, the first, I've only gone across it once. And I didn't really know. I was just driving. It was nighttime, too. And I'm like, oh, there's a bridge. So, you know, I think it's going to be a couple miles long, you know, on and off. But I'm driving, listening to music. And I went through about three, four, or five songs. And I'm like, I'm still on this bridge, and I reached a tunnel, I'm like, okay, well, you know, I reached the first tunnel, I'm like, all right, well, I'll come out of this tunnel and be on land, still on a bridge, so, uh, that was ridiculous, you know, I, I started to get concerned, because I'm like, man, this is, you know, something catastrophic happens, we're literally miles away from land, and I'm no Ryan Phelps, you know, so, uh, if that is his name, I know it's Phelps, I don't know if his first name is Ryan, I might have messed everything up with his first name, but whatever, Y'all know what I'm talking about. I am no gold medal uh, swimmer, so I'm not going to be able to make it, you know, 10 miles to land. I would die trying, but I wouldn't make it. So, uh, but to see that and experience it was like, well, this is a, after I got off of it, I was like, well, that was, that was pretty cool. You know, that was uh, obviously something different, but getting back to the point and the topic you know there's a lot of things that you see out here on the road that are unique and um this caves underground caves being one of them so went ahead and uh recorded this for y'all share that with y'all like i said earlier and um i really haven't had too much to talk about uh you know last i was on home time for six days then i came out i've been out on the road uh for about 
a week now, uh, a little over a week now, uh, really pushing two weeks now, and um, didn't really have too much to talk about when I came back out. I was just really, you know, just going through the motions, to be honest. Came back out, didn't have a great week, only bought home $400, you know, to the people that question, have questioned me about, you know, you're lying about your numbers or whatever. I don't have anything to lie about. You know, people will sit here and get mad, and I know I got off topic real quick, but people will sit here and get in their feelings when they see you, you know, post a video or, or something about, you know, I had a really good week. I bought home twenty five hundred dollars this week. I bought home, you know, X amount dollars this week. Oh, you're 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 bullshitting. You're lying. But nobody ever says anything when I say something about this crappy week I just dealt with last week, where I only bought home, uh, to be exact, three hundred and seventy eight dollars. And this week is not looking that great either. This is what I said in the beginning of my channel, in one of my, in my earlier videos, that there's going to be ups and downs. You'll go from a three thousand dollar week to a four hundred dollar week. That, that that'll happen. You know, it's ups and downs. That's why you. That's why you have to balance it out and get the average of it. But um, yeah, I had three seventy eight last week. That's what I bought home after all the expenses. I don't really understand how I had so many expenses, twenty four hundred dollars in expenses. But whatever. Oh, those tolls definitely didn't help. That's one of the reasons I've stated before. I'm going to reiterate. I don't like the Northeast that much because of the tolls. There's a lot of tolls I had to deal with last week. But um, this week is looking a little better. But at the same time, not really. It all de It's all dependent upon the load I get after I deliver this one. Because as of right now, I'm at, um, after I deliver this load, I'll be at $1,400 for the week. And that's just covering my fixed costs. So uh, we'll see what the next load brings in. But um, on the flip side of that, you know, uh, I am currently right outside of the Missouri border. I actually drove up through Missouri to get to this part of Illinois. But I'm going to be going back to Springfield this Sunday. I should be back by Sunday. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start this training program, training course, become a trainer. And um, it's real this time. It's not going to be no unexpected change of plans. You know, it's all set up. Everything is set up, and, and the wheels are in motion. Uh, my dude, uh, his name is Myron. He got his uh, CDL license the other day, actually. So he's actually coming in as a TNT. But um, he's already set up for orientation starting on Tuesday due to the holiday on Monday. I will be there Sunday and start my trainer class, course, whatever, Monday. So this time next week, me and him will be rolling out, hitting the road, and I'll be training him in the TNT phase. And uh, we've had discussions of him just kind of staying on my truck as the co-driver afterwards. So um, we will be going from there. Hold on for a second. I think it's, they're done. It's time for me to get up out of here. But we'll be going from there. So, really haven't had that much to talk about recently. But that's what's coming up for me. And um, obviously, I'll be tagging on or keeping y'all updated as we keep going along in this process and journey. Uh oh. I got everything going out here. Um, Get enough air on your brakes, it'll let you pull out. Okay. I'll pull you up quite a ways and then I'll kind of flag you to stop you and put a seal on you. All right. All right, so as y'all heard, he's done with me. It's time for me to get a body here. So I'm gonna get a body y'all here. You have eight hours and zero. As always, until next time, y'all.